Well, welcome fans of Branson Solar. I just had to do this video on this flow cell, nano flow cell car because I did this as part of my uh, intro on solar. Uh, it's probably been a couple years back now or whatever it was, but uh, I talked about this quant. It's made in Switzerland and they had told you they had a prototype on the road driving and of course it, it could be vaporware you know until it's actually on the market well now all of a sudden and this is June 14 2018 and they just put out this press release that they had this consortium of investors invested uh, they did it in euros but that uh, is about three and a half billion dollars in uh, US money so I thought wow that's a uh, no one has ever sold three and a half billion dollars worth of cars on their first order and especially not the what I was trying to get at with this car is this is a 48 volt vehicle so I my whole point of that was well if it's 48 volts we should be able to have a uh, some type of uh, uh, charge control in other words which you charge off of our residential solar panels assuming we have enough panels and all that we don't and the thing is they really haven't said how this liquid that they call a bi, bi ion I think it's a it's basically a salt water flow battery and it's a nanotechnology so it's a lot more energy dense than the salt than the salt water technology that I did my video on and of course uh, I've been running off grid on that for years but here they had this car I was saying wow if this was to come out well now it says right here they've confirmed an order for 500 quant and 25,000 quantito quant well however you pronounce it it's a two door versus a four door so there's two different versions you can go to their website purchaser and they don't even say who international consortium of investors okay so it says it stands as an indirect validation of the business plan presented by nano flow cell holdings provides for the construction of a pilot facility for the series production of low voltage vehicles as well as the manufacture of nano flow cells and bi-ion electrolyte liquid marking the start of a new era for electric mobility one thing I don't really tell you is how this liquid is going to be recharged and uh, or if that's even how it's done because they haven't really said uh, what they're going to do and they say in this article is they're going to give you a tank which you'll be able to use for residential customers you don't talk about recharging the liquid at your at your home it sounds like kind of like the uh, guys that come out and bring you propane in other words they'll come out and they'll replenish your tank with this bi-ion electrolyte liquid and then you'll replace the liquid in your car once you've used up all the energy in it that's what it sounds like uh, because uh, if we knew how it was recharged maybe we would realize oh well it really can't be recharged off of, from some low voltage process for example maybe it's not actually charged at 48 volts <laughs> you know so since they haven't really told us any of that and I've been watching their press releases for years now we don't know how it's charged so maybe it's not even possible but I thought well still they're talking about selling these for residential customers and all that kind of thing maybe delivering the liquid to your home and then whatever but uh, still it's an amazing technology when you look at it uh, and it, it won't be a type of a battery uh, it appears that will catch on fire or any of that kind of thing in fact we just had a, a plane uh, go down the electric airplane go down just uh, yesterday or so that was a prototype of Siemens and um, Mangus or somebody who had developed this and they were flying it and uh, it crashed it they say that it looks like uh, caught on fire before it crashed and made so maybe the batteries they, they don't know because it just happened at any rate uh, this uh, doesn't sound like it's going to be a technology that will catch on fire or overheat and all that of course we don't know they haven't given us enough information but here you can go to their website I'll give it to you when we get to the end here you can read their press release, see what it says, and uh, so, you know, sales price has been set at 3.5 million Swiss francs, which says is approximately 3 million euros, which is approximately 3.5 million, or like 3.4, uh, oh, okay, this is, well, all right, for the, for, all right, but the, it said right at the top, 3.1 billion so it's uh, 20 
whatever it just said 25,000 vehicles and 500 of the others 500 of the two doors it looks like now it talks about the refueling infrastructure so the, the customers will come from this consortium large number of fleet operators okay so it could be like rental cars in a sense I don't know initial series will be delivered to private individuals who will take delivery with a domestic tank infrastructure for filling up with this by ion electrolyte okay storage tank and a pump installed directly at the customer's home all right so you pump the old fluid out and new fluid in that's what they're talking about so the idea is just like we've got gas stations now that are putting in electric charge stations so the idea here is that in fact instead of electric charge stations you would just be refilling with a fluid just like putting gas in your car except you'll be putting the salt water uh by ion fluid into your car which should obviously be a lot safer you don't have to worry about uh, smoking around it and all that so gradually change over from gas to you know by ion fluid all right whatever that looks like all right so they're saying these tanks will be operated by fleet owners tank spots will be supplied for the first test fleets from the central production of the and they call it the quant city pilot plant so they're going forward with the planning building permit phase for the plant so i guess they've got the uh, contract support their forthcoming increase in share capital all right so talking about sales revenues construction so you just read through that the pilot plant facilities including the membrane for the bi-ion electric liquid okay the membrane I, I, I take it is the nano part nanotechnology part which allows them to produce so much power in such a small because uh, you know the energy density of it is incredible so it will change a lot of things if this works well we know it works just a matter of uh, someone investing in it now they have so it'll slowly uh, come into uh, reality all right so be the first electric car of its kind okay so you can read all that. that's why I made it so big so they'll start delivering so it says about two years to get it all built the first ones will be shortly thereafter and then they'll uh, uh, they've got it uh, ready for low volume production it says and then they'll anticipate an engineering phase of a little over two years before it can enter series production so okay it talks about their company product brand blah blah, blah. storing converting in this only a non-toxic non-flammable and sustainably producible electric liquid developed by the company known as by ion a nano flow cell is not charged like conventional batteries at electric charging stations but instead filled up with bi-ion okay but how do they create the bi-ion they don't really tell you size of the tank is scalable and ultimately determines the energy available okay so they've had uh, prototype vehicles In recent months they've demonstrated the potential of electric vehicle quantito Technology road legal mid sized sports car with 48 volt low voltage drive range upwards of a thousand kilometers on electric power alone. I, uh, you know, they didn't necessarily say this, I assume that meant on one tank of bi ion, and that's it implies that, but it didn't it wasn't that specific. Top speed of 200 kilometers, acceleration over the five. So it's pretty fast, sports car, okay, and it runs off electricity environmental compatible sustainable electric mobility with no compromise of comfort safety performance or cost all right well cost is relative but okay go to nanoflowcell.com here's a picture I think probably that's the yellow ones the two door and this is the four door I think that's what it is I think this is a uh, suicide door here in the back this looks like the four-door version and so it's a nice little car it has its own unique uh, style to it but whatever uh, for, as far as electric cars go i would say it looks pretty good and here you go you know flow cell management perfect press at flow cell and there's their phone there you go 
So I just wanted to do it, put this out because I, I talked about this a long time ago and now it looks like it's coming uh, into fruition and uh, we're going to have uh, this saltwater technology that's going to be very energy dense. It was, I forget what, of course this was years ago when I looked at it and it was, oh, at least uh, like six times more energy dense than other comparable uh, flow battery technologies and I'm not really don't even recall what I compared it to back then at, at any rate it, it obviously is uh, probably improved since then and so on and so forth and they've had it on the road they've tested it they've been driving around in Switzerland so it's not like uh, some they haven't actually been driving it they've already done some tests they put out videos so if you go there look at their videos on YouTube you can kind of see what all they've already done and bring up to yourself up to date on this. But this is exciting technology and eventually uh, whatever uh, price will get cheaper is more, you know, and now that someone's uh, already stepped in and bought a bunch of them, it's pretty exciting not to many people do that. And so this is a huge purchase for a vehicle that's never uh, been, really been on the road except for a prototype or two or whatever it's been, a few prototypes. So it's amazing. Uh, but uh, whether we can charge that again from solar, even though they are talking about residential, it apparently uh, maybe not won't necessarily charge off any type of 48 volt. Who knows? They haven't ever said that I can see uh, that they've ever talked about how it's charged. Maybe you can find some white papers on their uh, website. So uh, I thought this would be interesting for my solar customers because they are talking about selling it to residential customers. So that's good. If we have a have to have a tank delivery or, or whatever, well, uh, is that going to be better than what uh, you know we have in other things? Well, we have, still have to look at the uh, technology itself, the energy density, and what it takes. You know, the, we have to look at what they call a levelized cost of the system. In other words, uh, you compare all the positive and negatives to this technology, to another technology, to another technology. You compare all that, and you level out the costs and say, okay, well, is this not only is it cheaper or whatever, maybe it's a little more expensive, but is it safer? Is it does this or does it do that? So you, you kind of bear out all these different things with different technologies and then decide really what, what is better from your viewpoint. Well, if it's safer, that's, a, you know, it's just a saltwater liquid of some kind. That's huge. And, but, you know, they don't really talk about maintenance. So what is the maintenance, you know, to own it for five or ten years? You have to put that into your levelized cost. So all these things go together, maintenance, uh, the, of course this fluid being brought to you and how much that costs, how much you use per range and you know, and then your safety and then you know, obviously the weight and all these things, how energy dense, so it's just a whole bunch of things you have to take into consideration. But yeah, from what I've seen so far, this looks uh, pretty amazing and could really, if it's priced right, you know, people like it and it uh, turns out to be as safe as they say. Uh, it could really maybe take hold and, uh, you know, 20 years from now, this could be the, the main thing on the road. You never know. All right. Thanks for watching.